Hi, I'm Barry Jane from Barry Jane Makes and in this video I'm going to show you how I wash my Amish Knot rugs. This is the very first rug that I ever made. Very proud of it. It's seen quite a few washes so, you know, they, they do wash up okay. The only thing is, what happens is they tend to become slight bowl shaped when they come out of the wash. And the very first time that happened, I almost cried. But all you have to do, like a woolly jumper, is just pull it to shape whilst it's still damp and dry it flat. So there goes my rugs into the washing machine. This one I've washed once. This is the biggest rug I've ever made. My first oval rug. This one I tend to use in the bathroom so it gets grubby quite easily because it's a light colour as well. This one I use occasionally as a rug in the bathroom. And these I use as placemats on the dining table. That one was made from um, an old pair of jeans. These are all made from duvet covers. This is a pair of jeans and this one was made from silky ribbon. So there you go, just pop them all in. Okay, the wash is done. Let's see what's happened to these rugs. Okay. This is my oval shaped rug. rug. As you can see it's sort of bold a little bit. This one less so. I think maybe it's because it's been washed so often. <laughs> this one looks like a hat. See, it's quite okay. There you go. Okay, so once your rug is washed, it will look something like this. Okay, and all you have to do is just try and manipulate it back into shape by just gently tugging, it'll go back into shape. Leave it to dry flat, and that's all you need to do, okay? So again, with this one, this is quite out of shape. You just manipulate it back into shape, just stretch it. So I've got a bit of a creaky countertop here. That's all you need to do. And once you're standing on it, it will continue to stay flat. Same with this one. That's all you have to do. Just give it a little stretch. So don't be afraid. <laughs> don't be sad or upset when it comes out of the wash looking like this. Okay? You've just got to work it, get it back into shape, dry it flat. You may have to dry it on towels flat on the floor, you know, if you don't have a lot of space. Same with my big oval rug. I would do this one on the floor. And you just have to just stretch. Okay, so I put this one on the floor because it will be easier to get back into shape 
my worktop is a little bit too small for that. So you just do exactly the same as you did with the smaller rugs. Just take your time and push it back into shape. So just basically just continue to use your hands to get it back into shape. If it's a bit too big then you can just use your feet. So these are my rugs drying out on the living room floor. What I'll do is, at the end of the day, I will change the towels and also I'll go along and work at the rugs again, pushing them into shape, just continually doing that. Just push it into shape. I won't do these ones with my feet because they go on the table, but these just go along and just do that. So there you go. This is how I care for my Amish knot rugs. If you have any tips of looking after your rugs, um, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I hope it's been useful to you.